Intro! Do you sing first? Fighting out of the white corner. This man stands at 183 centimetres, weighing in at 101 kilograms. Born in France, nationality American, at 30 years of age, ladies and gentlemen, Tanu Wakanda Zumanigui! So here we go, bout number 13 of the night. The last of our corporate fighters, and then the main event. But let's focus on bout number 13, Tanuzumagi, the American born in France. He's 30 years young, 101 kilos, 183 centimeters, just over six foot. He's a career advisor for the Personal Training Academy. The reason he wanted to get involved was to test his limits and be part of a good cause. This is a great cause, the Starlight Children's Foundation. Of course, the toughest part of the training is knowing when to rest, when to grind that extra little bit. His opponent's message is simple. Good luck, man. We're friends before and we're after the fight, but not during. This man stands at 184 centimetres and weighing in at 99 kilograms. Hailing from Glasgow, Scotland, he's a financial controller for FTC. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Butterbean Butter! So this man shares the name of Australia's very first Prime Minister, Andrew Barton. He's 42. They call him Butterbean. He's got some height about him. 184 centimetres, so he's a centimetre taller than his opponent in Zumagi. And he's 99 kilos, so he's two kilos lighter. But he is 12 years older. He hails from Glasgow, home of the Rangers in Scotland. He's a financial controller for FTC construction and fit out. The reason he wanted to get involved was to get fit, lose weight whilst doing something and to raise money for a great cause. Sustaining for alcohol over the program was the toughest, but definitely worth it as he can now feel the benefits. These guys and girls, three months off the drink, three months off the sugars, training, training, training. And his opponent's message. Hope you are ready. Andrew Barton taking on Tanu Zumagi. Zumagi in the white, Barton in the black. This is bout number 13 for corporate fighter number 46. And then, of course, the main event, Luke Action Jackson taking on Abdullah Zamba. The Tasmanian taking on the Tanzanian. The main event here for corporate fighter fight night number 46. Hope you're enjoying the action. Great to see some of you commenting on the Facebook stream. A couple of people from Victoria, a couple of people from Queensland. Righto, fellas, this is the last corporate fight of the night. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I want no punch in the back of the head, no kidney shots, and keep them up. In the event of a knockdown, the standing fighters go to the neutral corner over there. Or the one behind me. Touch glove, boys. Good luck to both of you. The final corporate fighter of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. So here we go. It's Barton in the black, Zumagi in the white. The last fight before we get to the main event of the night, the big dance. Zumagi now with a big reach there. And Barton now just copping a few punches as now he responds beautifully. Zumagi now comes back. These short little left jabs, I'm liking them. Barton's coming back with a couple of rights. Zumagi again with the left. Nice work from Tanu Zanagi. Terrific stuff from him. Andrew Barton now working hard to get back in this one. Zumagi now just ducking and weaving away from Barton. Midway through this first round, Barton now with the fists of fury. But Zumagi, oh, responds beautifully with a left-right combination. Again with the lefts, nicely with the right. Barton tries to respond with some defence and does it beautifully. Comes off the rope. Two kilos of difference between these two. Fair amount of age difference, though. 12 years, 30 and 42. Zumagi, the younger. 
And there's not much difference between them in the height. Just one centimetre. 184 to 183. So, as you can see on your streams and your devices, there's not much between these two. As Zumagi now, again with a little left hook. Coming back beautifully is Barton. Barton now working it beautifully back into Zumagi. Barton to the midsection. Referee keeping a close eye on things. Zumagi, the 30-year-old, just responding beautifully again with a left and a nice little right-left combination. Referee just tells them to break, pulls them apart. Final bout of the night before we get to the main event. This is the first round of this one. Final moments. Zumagi now working it nicely. He's coming back. Good work from Barton. Look at him run to Zumagi. The 42-year-old Barton. He is launching in Zumagi now. And a great midsection shot to finish the round. Of course, we're raising money for the wonderful Starlight Children's Foundation. They've been around since 1988. They believe fun fights fear and wins every time. I would encourage you to donate to this wonderful Australian cause that's been around for 31 years. They've been doing some terrific work, charity work, for young kids doing it tough in this country. And they're putting smiles on these kids' faces every single day. So much respect, so much love for the men and women that do so much work and great work at the Starlight Children's Foundation. Starlight.org.au, the website that you need to go to. And great corporate sponsors for Corporate Fighter Fight Night number 46. Log on to corporatefighter.com.au. We're recruiting now 25% off the next entry fee, and that starts in early January. Go to corporatefighter.com.au. There's now Zumagi now takes on Barton. Zumagi in the white, Barton in the black. Barton working Zumagi in the corner, and the 42-year-old with a fist of fury. And look at Zumagi, he's coming back at Barton. On the ropes they come, Barton grabbing at Zumagi. The referee smartly comes in and will break them up, and they go back to the neutral corners. And now they come back, Barton. Crowd up on their feet, really enjoying this one, of course. One more fight to come after this. Stay with us for that. Luke Action Jackson taking on Abdullah Zamba from Tanzania. The Tasmanian and the Tanzanian. And now the man from France is really coming at the man from Glasgow. The Scot and the Frenchman. So, Zumagi now coming back to Barton. Barton working the midsection. Zumagi might have got a little left shot in there. Good little right-left combination. A couple of uppercuts, and they bounce off each other. Now Barton just settles himself back. Zumagi just adjusts the headgear. Quick little short jab. Nice little midsection shot to him. Great defense from Barton. Midway through this second round. 30 seconds to go. What a final round this is going to be between Zumagi in the white and Barton in the black. Barton now copying some abuse now from Zumagi. Zumagi now coming back beautifully. Referee keeping a close eye on things. And now they come back. Referee will tell them to go to neutral corners. And the standard eight count goes to Barton. So it comes back to the end of the second round and the eight count was delivered and we go into the final round. So Tanu Zamagi and Andrew Barton putting on a really good contest to finish the corporate fighter section of the night. It's a little bit confusing because it's very different to what we're used to here. But this is the last fight for the corporate fighter team. So 26 wonderful individuals have been having a great bout tonight. And then we go to the main event up next after the completion of this fight. That'll be Luke Action Jackson v. Abdullah Zamba. That is your main event for Corporate Fighter Fight Night number 46. As we fast approach the midnight hour on a Saturday night here in Sydney. As now we get set for the final round between... Zumagi and Barton. 
And then the main event, the big dance. Who's going to win it? Will be the homeboy or the man from Tanzania? There's now Zumagi and Barton square off. Barton, great big section. Oh, look at Zumagi respond beautifully. Both of these fighters coming. The intensity has lifted Deluxe in the first few seconds. Zumagi just ducking and weaving. Barton working nicely to the midsection. Now working the head. He's got Zumagi in the corners. This is a terrific final round between these two. We predicted it earlier in the fight. It's looking devastating at the moment from both fighters. Zumagi. The American born in France is now taking on Andrew Barton, the man from Glasgow in Scotland. Oh, beautiful shot from Zumagi. And now the count comes to Barton. The standard eight count. Barton, this is the second time that he's got this in the fight. And the referee making sure he's okay. We go back to the middle. John O'Farr is my name. Hope you're enjoying the contest so far. We've had 13 quality fights tonight, haven't we? We've got one more to come. Stay with us for that. Zamba and Jackson as Barton now works on Zumagi. Barton now again in that corner. Working beautifully. Great live shot there from the B Live stream team as Zumagi responds with a couple of fists of fury and he comes back. We'd love to know where you're watching here tonight. You might be at your dad's house. You might be at friend's house. You might be anywhere and around Australia. It's great to have your company. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Really hope you're enjoying the action. Zumagi, the show and go initially, and just put the little left-right combination together. There's now Barton comes together. And Barton now working the midsection. And Zumagi now in the middle. The American Frenchman copping some abuse here from Barton. And that's the final round. And that is the final fight tonight from the corporate fighter team. The corporate fighter section of the night. Stay with us though. We've got the main event still to come. And the result of this one between Barton and Zumagi. We'll take you down to our MC, Paddy Lang, in just a moment. He'll be able to deliver you the result as to who's won this. Is it Barton there on your screen? Or will it be Tanuzanagi? There he is. The young 30-year-old from, well, an American oh, born in France. And we have a unanimous decision to the white corner, Tanu Zumanibu.